Well, I'm definitely out of my league on this one. This is a North Star uh, S100 system. And that's about all I know about it. <laughs> this power supply is really scary. Uh, in fact, the very first time I turned this on, the cap right there blew up. And sparks went, I mean, it threw sparks all the way up to here. Uh, this has no over voltage protection at all. If something shorts out of the motherboard, it just blows up. I replaced the caps, or replaced the one that blew, and then went ahead and replaced the other ones that were uh, involved in the voltage regulation. And the schematics didn't really tell me uh, other than uh, this is the uh, 12 volt and 5 volt rail for the disk drives. It's the voltage regulator for 12. Yes. Yeah, 12 volt and 5 volt. So I got 16 volt caps. Unfortunately, when I pulled out the old caps, uh, they said 35 volts on them or 30 volts on them. So the caps I've installed are half the voltage rating, but. As long as they don't go over 16 volts, it should be fine. There shouldn't be any reason why this goes over 16 volts because it's, you know, shouldn't be any more than 12 here and 5 over there. So it should be good. And then this thing should only put out, uh, I think it's 18? No, 16 volts. So anyway, I do have the motherboards that go in here. I just didn't want to plug them in on my first trial. I wanted to make sure nothing was going to blow up. These are uh, single-sided Shugart hard, uh, disk drives, and both of them are bad. I don't know if you can see it down in there. But that little connector down there on both of them, yeah, you can see that one better. That's the, uh, the read and write head connector, and both of them are broken. The cables are just so old, they just broke so brittle they broke so neither one of these disk drives are going to work so I'm going to have to replace both of them and I'm not so sure I could replace the wire going from that connector to the read write head and that could be real uh, tedious and challenging I might I might tackle it but that is a very scary capacitor but it's been running for about oh, 10 minutes now and nothing's blown up. We have a nice little red light on the front. I was going to hook up my voltmeter and check voltages. Well, I'm pretty sure it's because I have nothing plugged in right now, but I'm getting 11 volts on the 8 volt rail and 22 and minus 22 on the 16 volt rail. I don't know how this is a linear power supply, so it's a little bit different than what I'm used to. It's not regulated, so it could just be running that high because, well, it doesn't have a load on it. And that oh, 11 volts, okay, for, for 12. Hopefully that was the 12 volt line, I'm not sure right now. And... 5 volts. Close enough. So that's your, that's the regulated supply. Okay, so that's working. 11.6 and 4.9. That's close enough to 5 and 12 without going over. I like that. Okay, so everything appears to be functioning. I don't smell anything burning. Nothing's getting warm because maybe we'll try a card out. Oh, it takes a while for those capacitors to discharge. Come on. <laughs> wow. I turned that off about 30 seconds ago. Okay, now well, I'm definitely not an expert in this. But I believe what I have here are two separate systems. Now, these were the cards that originally came out of this North Star box. In fact, it says North Star 
on most of this. No, this is the memory card, so it doesn't say North Star on it. I think we got see yeah, we got 64k on this card and and we got four banks of 16. So that makes that's our 64k. Then here is our North Star Z80 processor card. And something for the control panel, which I don't have. But on on all these cards over here, they all have their own voltage regulators. So that's how they take the linear voltage, the 8 and 16 volts, and turn it into, that would be 5 volts, the 7805. Uh, looks like two 7805s. Hmm. That's what turns it into 5 volts and runs the card. And then this one. Let's see. 7805 and a 7812. So that turns it into 5 volts and 12 volts. I'm not sure if it does a positive or negative but we'll see it we might do it since we have diodes there that are flipped one of these voltages might be a negative not sure which one yet and this card is the floppy disk drive controller this is where the floppy disk drives were plugged in what I don't see yeah, it says North Star. 1978. And see, there we have 7805 and 7805, so these are both 5 volts. What I don't see in this system is anything to plug into a terminal. So I believe I am missing my terminal card. As far as the North Star goes. This system here looks like it was a Jade system. Let's see if I can focus in on it. Yeah, it's focused. Yay. Another Z80 card. This one uh, didn't plug it. has what looks like a terminal connection. Plug this into a terminal so you can control the computer. These don't have keyboards like, uh... Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about this down here. That's probably the terminal board for the North Star. Because on the back... I forgot about that. That plug there was labeled monitor. So that's probably where the uh, terminal plugs in. Now I don't think I could plug this into this system here because of that. I'm not sure how that's going to work or how that would work. Somebody else out there I'm sure would know. But you have the CPU card with its terminal connection. And looks like we got a, a BIOS chip on this one or a ROM chip on this card. This one does not have a ROM chip. No ROM. I guess maybe that might be it there. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you need to plug a ROM card. I don't know. This is a floppy disk drive controller. This will control both five and a quarter inch and eight inch disk drives. And it's got a 7805 voltage regulator on it. And yeah, oh, yeah, double disc controller. So, but no memory. I don't have a memory card for these for this system. However, I'm sure that memory card would work. Focus. 
So, hmm, what to do, what to do. I actually have, now this is going to be kind of cool. When I got this North Star computer, these two disks were in the disk drives. Uh, that one says empty blank, and that one really is hard to read. But they were in the disk drive, so who knows? It might have an operating system on it. That would be really cool if it did. Um, these two disk drives don't work, but I do have one that does. So I can just simply plug that disk drive in, set it up on top here, and see what happens. Now, I don't know, because see, I'm ignorant about this sort of thing. Maybe I should, I have been looking around online and reading as much as I can about S100 systems. And it doesn't seem like anything, like the cards don't have to be plugged in in a certain order. They each have their own address. So it doesn't really matter what order you plug them in the motherboard. They'll, they're not going to run over each other. So, like I could just plug the CPU card here and... Actually, it would make sense to plug the memory card in close to the CPU card. For me, anyway, that makes sense. But I do have one or two slots that look... Well, we got one there that's broken. And I think we've got another one that's got some corrosion on it. So I want to avoid putting it yeah, down. That one there. So I want to avoid using that slot if I can. And just like that. And then slip this one. Oh, that one doesn't want to. <laughs> the capacitors are too big. All right, fine. We'll go to the next slot. Like that. And then we'll plug. I guess it doesn't really matter now. disk drive controller. I guess I can park, park it, plug it up here. Let's see. I don't want the bad slot. How about that one there? Just like that. Let me go get another disk drive and set it up here. And well, This is kind of cool. I actually, this disk drive here is actually brand new. You can see it has some beautiful condition. And it was set up as drive B, and I went ahead and changed it to drive A, since I only have one disk drive plugged in. And that's just that, that DS0. It was on DS1. I just moved the jumper over. And I don't think any other jumpers need to be changed. We'll certainly find out. I should be able to plug this into the uh, to a computer through the RS-232 port and use a terminal program and be able to control this computer that way. Well, let's throw the switch and see if anything blows up on these circuit boards. 18 volts. Uh, I'm hoping those regulators will take care of that. Well, the disk drive came on. And it looks like it's looking for an operating system. Let's give it a disk and see what it does. Oh, it went off. I think I have a reset button back here. Let's try it and see what happens. The 
If the head moves, it's booting. If it doesn't, then it's probably a blank disc. It is running the disk drive, though. It has signs of life. That's actually pretty cool. That's probably a blank disk. Yeah, let's try the other one. Of course, we're not going to get to it before it gives up. And our reset button back here. See that? There's a reset button on top and a power switch down just below it. Yeah, I don't think there's an operating system. But the fact that it's trying to read the disk, that's pretty cool. That means we have processor function. Oh yeah, that's getting warm. Yeah, the voltage regulators are doing their job. Well, that's actually really cool that it tried to boot. Now I have boot disk for multiple systems. I do not have one for North Star, though I do know where I can get some. But first, it'd be interesting to plug a terminal or computer up there and see what uh, up to that serial port back there in the back and see what it uh, see what's displaying on the screen. Well, I checked the voltages, voltages over there, and again, I'm still getting 11 volts on the 8-volt line and 20-some volts on the 16-volt line, so I don't know why it's the voltage is so high. Or that could be because the transformer's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't know. I really want to rip all that power supply stuff out there and put some regulated... <laughs> regulated both power supplies over there. Get rid of this scary stuff. But you know these these are getting quite warm. So they're doing their job, but they're getting kind of toasty in the process. Okay, it's gonna shut it off. And that light takes forever to go off. 